Hey, many fish. September 5th, 2017. And uh, this is quite amazing stuff. I mean, supernatural things that the Lord is pouring out on so many people. And this here, I'm just going to go right to the point of what I have been shown here. And this, this fellow here, Aaron Mitchell, this is the poor soul that sacrificed himself to the Burning Man. Aaron Joel Mitchell. Well, it made me think immediately, of course, of Aaron, who was the brother of Moses. He was the high priest of the Israelites. Okay? This is a, a very, very important figure in our history. And Joel, Joel was considered a, a minor prophet, if you will. And Joel had some pretty interesting things to tell us. And he left us with some words of warning that bear true today. I am thoroughly convinced of that. For he told all ye inhabitants, okay, you have never seen anything like what's coming. Your fathers have never seen it. So you tell your children and their children and another generation. And he begins to talk about the locust, the palmer worm, which is a locust, meaning to devour. The locust is the locust. The canker worm is also meaning devourer. A young locust, the caterpillar, the ravager. A locust okay we gotta make that really clear and I suggest really read Joel I mean it's he basically is saying repent Re the time the day of the Lord is at hand those very words and I believe he repeats it on three occasions at least two I'm not that Bible uh, learned but boy, I can tell you, it's in my heart, and this is relevant today, the locusts. And I'll tell you why. Not just because of the nuclear image I've shown you in the past, but there was another image that, yes, I was shown. Uh, this one I made a video of several months ago, and, you know, I didn't believe that I really was uh, giving it the the urgency that it deserved and it's this image right here which is a NASA image now you can think whatever you like about NASA if you've watched my videos you know what I think about NASA because it's true they're liars deceivers in the synagogue of Satan it's just that simple if you do not know this and you're not willing to really look into it for yourself then this video is not for you it's just that simple but here it is the layered deposits on ooze boy valley released on march 17th of this year and of course i'll link it all links are always included but i was led to to study this image so i take the image in and that's the image right there same exact image, right? Well, what do they? What is? What does God tell us in Isaiah twenty-nine? That I quote this verse all the time. Woe unto them that seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord. That's that's NASA for crying out loud. I mean, I don't know how many more examples you need of people who seek deep to hide their counsel from the Lord and do their work in the dark. But Surely your turning of things upside down shall be esteemed as the potter's clay. So that's what I do. I take the image and I turn it upside down. And this is what we have. Now, for me, just because I've studied the image, but even before I did, immediately I could see. And I hope you can see without my even doing anything. That we have here the face of a lion you can see the half face of the lion here 
and the half face profile of the man face. There he is, right there. And I will highlight him for you. There's the man's face. I believe we can categorize that as undeniably a man's face. And then we have the lion's face. Which I need to find the little button here, right here. You can see the half of his face sticking out there. Face of a man, teeth of a lion. You can see the jagged teeth. It's undeniable. Shapes of a horse. If you look at these front legs here, that definitely illustrates the shape of a horse. It just does. The wings. Look at the wings. I mean, how can you even not see those wings? Okay? The hair of the woman. You got the face of the man. The top of the wing is also the hair of the woman. See it flowing back there, right? Which is also the top of the wing. The face of the lion. The shape of the horse face of the man, the teeth of the lion. They had a crown. Crown of gold. There's your crown of gold in between the face of the man and the face of the lion. You cannot deny this. I mean, you can. But again, you might as well just go to another video. This is profound and this is prophetic and this is an absolute 100% warning that you better heed. There's your scorpion, folks. There's your... You, oh, I haven't even shown you the scorpion tail. Look at, look at the detail of this. Let me take the crown away here. And look at where this tail would come right out from the, from the back of the uh, creature here. It is a perfect, perfect scorpion tail. I mean right down to the very details. I lived in Arizona. I know what a scorpion tail looks like. My goodness. And that's not all. There's so much here. I wish I could share it all with you. This right here really got my attention. This is basically a hieroglyph. That's what it is. That's a woman. It's the shape of a woman sitting. She's sitting on this pedestal here. And in her arms, she has a cocoon. A blanket, like you would see a, a baby wrapped in a blanket, a cocoon. And out of that cocoon is coming a demon. There is a literal, little demon coming out of that cocoon. And I just hope you can see it. It's all I can tell you. If you have the eyes, you can see this. This is telling such a story, such a profound supernatural story that I can't even put it to words. And I'm only showing you a fraction of what's in this image. There's your locus of the pit, ladies and gentlemen. The same ones in here. There's their king. Out of the pit. Revelation 9. And I saw a star fall from heaven. And I've told this story and that's all I can do is tell it. I saw a star fall from heaven. This is months ago. This is going on a year. Right around the same time that I was shown. Yes, I was shown this. You see this little wishbone that I shared with you out there? That you, you don't see clouds like this. Right? I mean, we don't. Let's not deny that we, we just don't typically see a cloud shaped like this. Well, this is my backyard. That's what I want you to look at. Because I'm going to show you something directly related to that cloud right there. And I'm going to turn it this way for myself. I can get some stills out of it. Remember that now. Yeah. Remember that. Does it look like anything to you? I mean, is this not just 
off the hook. And this is, n I mean, believe me, when I tell you that this is not something that I just, like, go searching for to come up with clever little things. We are being spoken to loudly and clearly. This is a direct warning. I do not know times. I do not know days. I pray, I pray that all of you are washed in the blood of Jesus, are saved by his salvation. Only through him, only can you be redeemed to the Father. And that's just the way it is. And these things are coming on this earth, folks. Whether we want to face up to it or not, they're coming. And they will have a king ruling over them. And if you're seeing this, like, down the line, and these things have already come upon the earth, don't take the mark. Whatever you do, do not take the mark. I don't know what else to say, ladies and gentlemen. I just don't. Courtesy of NASA. Courtesy of our human sacrifice at our Burning Man Festival, which falls right in. There are a lot of satanic things going on right now. And that's what I am called to show you. The things that are happening that are going to affect your eternal soul if you don't recognize the world that you're in and that it's dark and broken and wicked and you have a way out and his name is Jesus. Seek him now. Peace and grace, many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore take unto you the whole armor of God, 